Hello, Michael. My name is Rolando Espinoza, and I'm with Zucor Marketing. Thanks for taking the time to talk to Eric. And as promised, here is uh, your website analysis. You have a really nice website, nice logo, good pictures, very nice font, very readable, custom uh, images. Your your services are well listed. Call to action. People can contact you. It's a really a really nice website. But uh, what I want to talk to you about is how can you rank uh, higher in Google. You actually are doing pretty well. We're going to discuss this, but what what is it that you can do to improve this? So one thing that I can tell you is that Google loves content. What they want to see in a homepage is 1500 or more words. That on their eyes makes you a more trustworthy um, provider of the services that you do. So that is something to take into consideration. If we uh, select and copy all of the content on your website, I'm pretty sure that let me clear this uh, that you're not going to have uh, 1500 you have only 347 words on your on your home page so that is something that you can immediately do that is going to help you rank higher uh, and not all content is the same what people what Google takes in consideration is on the content that you have relevant keywords what people are typing in the search they want to see that repeatedly on your content that is something very important in the eyes of Google that it will make you rank higher. Now you are doing pretty well. Like I said, I did a search here for Norman, Oklahoma, roofers in Norman, Oklahoma, and let's analyze this. So what we have here is the paid advertisements. These are paid. These people pay to be there. They randomly will appear. Everybody that pays gets a, every once in a while, you're going to appear on the search. Uh, and many people don't trust those, but we're going to move to what we call the map pack. The map pack is an important place because here you are super easy to find. They can go directly to your website. They can see directly if you are open or closed. Your phone number can be listed there. They get a lot of traffic. And ultimately, that's what you want. You want to have a lot of traffic that ultimately will result in a lot of business. So these people are, are appearing here for a couple of reasons. And if let me uh, explain. If you don't have a Google business profile, it's very convenient to have one. That's one of the first things that Google will consider to put you on the Mac pack to have a, a, a Google business profile and then add as much information as you can, like list your 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 physical address, your web, uh, your uh, your website, email address, hours of operation, services, pictures, as much information as you can put into that Google business profile, the better they will rank you. Now, to beat this people that are here, what you need to do is on top of having a very complete Google business profile, what you want to do is have that same information that you have in as many as possible relevant directories of the type of service that you provide. Um, that is something that also Google is going to take in consideration to put you on the Mac pack. Now, the second part is this is where it's exciting. So um, what we call the organics is non-paid uh, search results that Google is, um, you know, giving you a little bit of a, a recognition of what you're doing because these are non paid and you are you're ranking high and you are right here. You're the second one. This one, it doesn't even come because that's uh, just a list. So you are the best, the, the best business ranking here. You're the number one uh, business ranking as a, as a website. So that is that is pretty amazing. That is pretty good. Uh, but you want to rank on both and I took one of this as an example, and we're going to analyze what is it that they're doing that you can you can also do. So for that, we're going to go here to Ahrefs, which is a paid service that we have to analyze the back end of a website. And this is your these are your numbers. So we're going to concentrate on a couple of different things. The first thing that I want to talk to you is the DR, which this is the level of trust that Google has. So it's pretty low there. And then the UR is the strength of the website. And also it's pretty low. So those numbers are something that that you want to do. The the one that is ranking there on the map pack is this one, which you know it's not a, a, a super impressive website, but they are ranking higher. What is it that they are doing? So the rankings are better. The DR, the level of trust, is not high, but it's there. And the UR, um, you know, the the strength of the website is it's higher also than yours. So that's something to take in consideration. Now, the next step that I want to talk to you about is backlinks. Backlinks is basically a shout out 
from another website to yours. Let's say that you don't have a, um, an entry in the yellow pages or you have not, uh, you know, sign up for the yellow pages. If you do, the moment that you have a link directly from the yellow pages to your website, that becomes a backlink. So what they have is 364 backlinks compared to the 34 that you have and then eight referring domains and they have 84 here. So this is probably the reason why they are ranking high on the Mac pack and they are beating you. So we have, we're going to analyze the organic keywords too. They have 109, you have 45. The organic keywords, this is the amount of the volume that they are getting. Affordable construction, affordable construction company, roofing and construction. This are roofers in Norman. So this is the amount of hits that they're getting monthly. So you want to make sure that in the content that you add, that you have this, uh, because this is what they are. So that's, that is something that you wanted to take in consideration when adding more content to it. And then the referring domains, make sure that the backlinks are what you have. You want to copy that and you want to have all that information in all of this. These are high ranking. This is the rating of those domains, 91, 98, 87, anything above 50 is pretty good, 60, 50. So all of this are, and there's a long list of them, of course. And if you go to the, to the second part of the list, of course, it becomes like, these are irrelevant. They have zero rating and zero one, four and five, 28. Those are not important, but, uh, the first part of the list, that's where you want to concentrate in adding your website to this, um, to these directories like they have. So that is probably the reason why they're beating you. Um, there's other things that you can do. Um, but this is what I want to keep it here. Um, thanks for taking the time to, to watch in the video. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to call Eric. He will have, um, next steps and other ideas of how we can help you to appear higher on those and rank higher on, on those parts of Google and hopefully bring more business to you. Thank you for your time.